A line chart shows a trend of how values change over time. It takes three steps to create a line chart. First, we organize our data, then we'll actually create the chart, and then we add labels and style it. Before we make the chart, we'll put our data into Excel. So how do we organize it so it can turn into a chart? We start with the title. We want to be as descriptive as possible. Imagine someone is going to find your chart without any explanation of what it's about. Help them figure out what they're looking at. Then we'll organize our data into columns. The first column holds the date or time values, which will be listed across the x-axis of our chart. Then you'll put each set of data that you recorded in its own column to the right of the x values. For example, I recorded the daily high and low temperature, and I'd like one line to show the high and one line to show the low. It's really important to label your data with the units you measured in. For mine, these are degrees Fahrenheit, but I have to label it or someone might think it was degrees Celsius. If you measured a distance, was it in inches, centimeters, or thousands of miles? Just showing your numbers by themselves isn't as easy to understand as if you include their units. Once all our columns are labeled, we just fill in all the data we measured. The times should match up with the data we recorded at those times. Once our data is in the spreadsheet, we're ready to make the line graph. This is easy. We select our data. Then all we have to do is go to the Insert tab, find the Line Graph option, and choose Line with Markers. Voila! We have a chart with dates across the x-axis, and we can use the y-axis to see what our values are over time. It even gave us a legend with our labels. Now we just need to add a chart title and axis titles. We can link the chart title to the one that we already wrote. We'll select the box the title is in, and then in the formula bar, we'll type equals and select the cell that our title is written in. Now we'll add a label for the x-axis and link it to the label that we wrote. For the y-axis, if we have more than one line, we need a generic label to show what the numbers on the side mean. For mine, I can say temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Yours might be something like plant height in centimeters. Our last step is to make the chart look nice. For some charts, you don't need the y-axis to start at zero. Like for temperature, we can zoom in on the data I measured instead of squishing it all to the top. If that works for your data, we'll select the axis and change the minimum value. At this point, our chart is looking really good. If we decide we'd like to add more lines, it's easy to add data without recreating our chart. We can insert a column somewhere between the date column and the last column of Y values. Once we enter our new data there, Excel automatically adds a line with those values onto our chart. Now for my favorite part, we can style our chart with different colors and designs by selecting the chart, go to design, and pick settings that we like. For more specific changes to the lines on your chart, you can go to the paint bucket, officially the fill in line menu. Here you can change the color, size, and other details for each line individually. Now we have a great looking line graph. It shows what we measured, the units we recorded them in, and how the values changed over time. If you want to head start on creating your own line graph, you can download the Excel file that I used for this video. You can find the link in the description.